Hi guys, welcome back to Scrap in Scotland. Going to do a little teardown video for you today. Uh, apologies, there's not been uh, many videos up over the last week, uh, but I've really just been trying to clear some of the backlog because uh, the shed has become overwhelming and there's just so much stuff that I've just not had an opportunity. And the stuff I have been clearing, the stuff that I've done videos on prior or previously, uh, so I didn't want to do them again. So hopefully we've got some more interesting stuff coming up. Something different. I uh, always like to do different stuff, as you know. So that's what I'm planning on doing today. So I've got a box here. This box contains a mini exercise bike. A mini exercise bike in a box, you may ask. Yes, indeed. The Reviber mini exercise bike. So there you go. Okay. So there is parts of this missing, which is why I'm just going to tear it down. Uh, actually, if it was all in working order and stuff, I'd probably sell it online. But it isn't, so I won't. Okay, so I'm just going to go through it, I'm going to unbox it, uh, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to take it apart. Okay, so, little tool bag. Some of the, couple of the plastic feet on it. There's screws in there, so I'll get them out. this is the exercise bike itself so you sit on your bed or on a chair stick the pedals on it and yeah crack on so that's the idea of it it's meant to have a remote control as well that comes with it but I don't have the remote control that's kind of the missing piece Again, could probably purchase that and then sell this as a unit, but I'm a scrapper, guys. We just scrap it out. That's what we do. Okay. Nothing else in the box. So this is what we're going to scrap today. Now, it does have these kind of deep holes for the screws. Luckily, I have the very man for the job. While I'm on doing, doing these screws as well, guys, uh, just thought I'd let you know. So, I did order some new little funky tools. Uh, and really just little things, little bits and bobs that I didn't have. Be that little nut drivers, a diamond uh, cutting disc, various little items. And I actually ordered them all off Timu. Uh, don't know how many of you guys have ordered off Timu. But I was watching another scrapper's video. And they ordered something off Timu and it seemed to come and it was what it said it was, so I did the same, I ordered and within a week I got the order through and it was full and it was complete and it was everything it said it was, so I think I spent £50 uh, Spending that £50 got me a £20 discount, so it actually only cost me £30 and it was free shipping and for all the items I got, I thought that was actually pretty great, so... Uh, I don't know if you guys have uh, had a look at TV and tried to order stuff off it. I know there is similar things, and I have ordered from similar kind of Chinese sites before, like Wish.com. Uh, but I was pleasantly surprised on how quick it came. With all these things, I think there's an element of risk that you don't get your items, but... My item came, so... I can't do anything but sing the praises of it so far until I use the tools and if they don't work or they're crappy then I'll come back and say <laughs> I was mistaken but for now quite happy with them I will of course show you what I've got because uh, no point describing that and then not actually showing you the stuff that I bought.
one of the purchases is probably would have meant I can use my drill to do this as well rather than having to undo the screws manually or by hand all right so here's my little bag of team goodies there's a couple other things but most things are in here so we'll show you the bag so we've got our circlip pliers need them because I asked on a former video how to get these clips off because they're a real pain uh, and someone mentioned these so I now have a pair of circlip pliers pliers my little diamond disc for cutting apparently it lasts 20 times longer than a normal cutting disc would so we'll give that a try probably less chance of shattering and stuff as well we've got a Flexi screwdriver bit so you can undo screws that are in tight spaces or round little corners that you can't fit a conventional screwdriver into. Got a little set of cutting discs, they're not for metal, I think they're just for wood or for plastic, but nice and handy. We've got our little nut drivers. Okay, a little set of them. We've got a couple of them, but didn't have a full set, so I've now got a full set of them. This is actually a little plate for my grinder, so you can put it on, you put it through here, and you can use various different tools on the end of the grinder, but you've got a base plate for it. So you can stick it on the bench or on a bit of wood or something like that. Uh, that's a little kind of hole finder for when you're connecting pieces of wood together so that kind of guides the screw in nice and easy and that just fell it's a little set of screw extractors so if you round a screw and you can't extract it, use these little tools and you can get a, a broken screw head out, so it helps. Sure if you do a lot of scrapping you'll have experienced lots of screws that you just can't get out, so that's the solution. Uh, we have a, a hole drill head. Set of drill bits, as I say, a bit longer, could have stuck that into my drill and actually got that stuff out a little bit easier. Got this cool little bolt extractor as well, so whatever the size is will fit into here and then you can take it out. So fits all different sizes of bolts. Does come with a little adapter as well. Stick that in your drill. Got this little thing which is uh, it's for angled screwing so if you consider you're screwing something straight or undoing something straight if it's at a little bit at an angle and you're trying to angle your screwdriver in or whatever it may be this thing tilts so as you can see it tilts yeah so you can get into things at an angle okay and as you turn that the top piece rotates as well so a nice real handy little tool and you can lock it into place as well so it doesn't tilt so you can use it as a conventional bit That's that one. And then we have just some adapters, socket socket adapters. This is just a different set, but little socket adapters with all different sizes. 
because I do have a few rogue sockets sitting in my tools drawer uh, and I've not got an adapter that I can use on this so set of adapters solve that problem and that was really it guys so lots of little goodies there as I say all that for 30 quid that's not a bad bit of business in my eyes One thing I would say is, since I ordered something, I'm just inundated constantly with notifications from the Team New app now, but that's alright because there's definitely bargains to be had on there guys, so check it out if you're looking for some little tools that will help you scrap easier. I'm sure I've got something else, but I can't remember what it is. Okay, so, well, there's the control I was talking about. Maybe this will work, maybe I shouldn't scrap this. Let's plug it in and see. Well, it works. And a timer on it, has dis distance on it. Maybe we won't scrap that, guys. Maybe we'll just keep that. Unfortunately, I just dropped a couple of screws out of it after I've done done them all, but there you go. Live and learn. It works. It's great. And you know what? We've still got a video, guys, because I just showed you all my Timu purchases. So, if you like that one, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button on Scrap in Scotland. Uh, let's get up to a thousand subscribers, guys, so I can all do that with your help. Thanks, as always, for watching, and I'll see you on the next Scrap in Scotland. Bye for now. Thank you.